Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Where in the previous episode I spent time here exploring the offices of Sheriff Industries. Completely optional, but I wanted to get get the items in here and also the experience for uh, hacking all the all the different doors. Some stuff still left behind, but uh, I can always go go back to those later. But now we are getting ready to get into the streets of Detroit, and uh, we have a tutorial here about how to manage the different missions that I haven't checked before. The objective screen details current missions and objectives. In here. You can find extra information that may help you better understand what needs to be done. Missions can be activated or deactivated, depending on if you want them to appear in your radar or not. Deactivated missions can still be completed. Ah, okay, so I can turn these. Now I have these uh, side quests 2 and 3, mission 3 and uh, mission 5 and 6 activated. I think I can also turn these pointers off if I want. Let's quickly check that. I think there was an option for that. Objective locators. Yeah, that gets rid of the rid of the markers. But uh, I'll keep that. I'll keep that on for now. And from the missions Let's make that inactive. I won't look into that, but uh, let's visit Greg Thorpe and Joseph Thorpe. And visit the Limp Clinic for starters. Let's see what uh, Detroit 2027 20, looks like. Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. you mean? It's never been the same for me either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? They did what they had to do to save me. And in a way, I can do more now than I ever could. I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her, or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. 
I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. I can see why she loved you. Not even that degree of mechanical modification could change what she saw in you. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? <laughs> well, I'm not I'm not gonna ask for reward for this. That would be pretty cold. I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Hmm, looks like Mrs. Reed will wait here. So I get things done. Trash can. Going through the trash like a true true head of security ward. My neighbors were there when it happened, you know. The hostage taking at the Seraph plant. Mm hmm Just me who took care of it. Ooh, why would someone some, uh... Jansen, right? Yep. Heard about you. Yeah, you were a good cop by most accounts. But you're lucky you got out. Got out from where? Okay, uh... Going through the trash. Looking at the city. Sheriff Headquarters Limb Clinic. That's where I was heading. I guess it was some of these apartments that uh, this detective Chase is in, and also where uh, where Craig and Josie Torp are are living. I guess all these these fellows here are just civilians, and uh, you believe it? We had the place surrounded. Since when did we take orders from David Seraph? Maybe there was some hazardous material they were worried about. More like there was something illegal in there that they wanted the rent a cop to get rid of. We should have never let that guy in. I thought Jensen did okay. He helped save the hostages. He yeah. got lucky. Fuck you. I got nothing to say to you. Well, that's good because I have nothing to say You're to Jensen, you. Right? One of my buddies told me what you did at the plant. Nice job saving those hostages. What's wrong with your friend there? Okay, mental note, there's beer in this trash. Let's go dig that up. We can't use any any of these cars or or does Adam have a have a car in there? It's a parking area or something. Something uh, inside the building. 
can't believe I'm going through grass here. Doesn't look like a place I'd necessarily want to go, but... Security rating 3. That's in mind, shall we? More beer. Oh, and I need to find that that uh, weapon seller or something to get rid of all the stuff. Hey, take a look at that! I made it to the news. Oh, but the SWAT got all the credit. Encountered very, very little resistance. The operations was a complete success. SWAT team sure took their sweet time. Similar to standoff two years ago in Mexican town. When a SWAT team killed a 15 year old teen. So that's the Mexican town incident everyone's talking about. After afterwards, Adam quit the SWAT team. Well, I don't blame Adam. So maybe there was something something similar going on in Mexican town as well with. Uh, Special forces going in to kill that. I can't believe this whole hostage thing. Terrorists on our own soil? I know, and that guy Taggart claiming he has no connection? I don't believe that for a second. I heard he's coming to make a speech at the convention center. That's like when the NRA went to Columbine after the second time. Moses himself coming to free us from the evil pharaoh, Seraph II. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's hope for a plague on all the humanity front houses. Adam, nice look you got going on there. You must be hitting the clubs tonight. Do I know you? I guess I do. Hey, Adam, didn't see you there. You heading home for the evening, or does Mr. Seraph have you looking into something new? Why all the ladies in Detroit know Adam? That's the question. I'll bet you never have trouble finding a seat on the bus, do you? <laughs> I guess I won't. She's Adam knows her name, but why are you going for the grass? Well, shit! If it ain't the captain himself! Mr. Seraph done fixed you up good, ain't he? Give you a new set of glasses and everything. Damn! How you doing, Letitia? Didn't think I'd see you walking this boulevard anytime soon, that's for sure. Not after what happened six months ago. People said use down for the camp. People tend to underestimate me. <laughs> you and me both, Captain. You and me both. Uh, you uh got any credit you can spare? How about you give me some information, and then we'll see. Oh damn, Captain! You ain't no cop no more. Why you gotta insist on using them rules? Because it's my money this time, not the department's. You want it, you better give me something that's worth it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So what you wanna know?
You've always had a good feel for this city, Tish. What's the mood on the street these days? Oh, things ain't looking good, Captain. People losing their jobs, their homes, locking everything they own into those uh, garage door storage units around town, hoping nobody breaks in and steals stuff. Mr. Sarah's gonna save us? He better do it soon. Or what? Not sure. Just feels like this whole city's waiting to explode. Especially in the mallets behind the gas station. Most of the time, you's fine walking there, long as you don't cause no trouble. But you do something wrong? Well, cops and punks both trigger happy these days. I might need to do a little trespassing soon. Maybe get inside some places where I'd rather not be seen going in. You being kind of vague, Cap, but maybe it's best I don't know the Pacifics. You got that right. What I do know, though, is that most people tend to look down, not up. And even when looking down, they don't necessarily think about what's under their feet. If a person ain't too squeamish about getting dirty, they might be able to get inside one of the more sensitive areas in the city. Especially if they arm themselves ahead of time with the right information. Ah, okay. Uh, I won't be spending any credits just yet. But uh, maybe later those uh, secret bats will be useful. It's been a while since I walked the beat. Where would a less than exemplary citizen go these days if he needed to acquire some unlicensed firepower? Well now, I see here there might be a gun seller or two around town. But an adventuring man, especially one fixed with some of that fancy neat techno limbs Mr. Serif makes, he might be able to acquire a few more if he's willing to go the extra mile. Well, maybe later. Guess I can. For that chat, give me the t-shirt. Here. It's not credits, but. Mighty it's beer, kind, Captain. Mighty kind. I think I've got all the information I need right now, Tish. Maybe next time. I be right here waiting for you, Captain. now since I have the room for it. Or this one. <laughs> beer or energy bar. Oh, I choose beer. Things like that. Mixer leaves at eight. Emergency exit. Top of the billboard next to old gas station. That was more than I expected. I was thinking of finding more beer on the ground. Like there was that one. Oh, sorry, sir. Okay, maybe it's now finally time to go to the... Go to the limp place. Wait a minute. Is that the... Is that the gas station? This is where the weapons seller is. Yeah, probably. Because there's an armed guard in here. Okay, I guess you don't mind me being here.
So, what do you have in store, Christian? You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. Ooh, yes, I want to sell. Sell stuff. Uh, well, I'll keep the beer. I guess I'll keep all those things. I'll keep my tranquilizer rifle, I'll keep my upgraded pistol, but I will sell the machine pistol. Sell. Keep the tranquilizer darts, I guess I will sell the stun gun darts. So I have quite a bit of. Almost 8,000 already. 10mm pistol I will keep. Or at least I'll sell all the machine pistol ammo. But will I use combat rifle? I think I won't. I'd sell those as well. I won't be using the grenades. So I might as well sell them. Okay, what can I buy? Ammo, shotgun ammo, tranquilizer darts. Damage upgrade burst round system. Great. Shotgun. Yeah, I guess if one would want to go with lethal weapons, it doesn't get any better on close range than the shotgun. Mine template. Combine with a grenade to create a mine. Okay. I came here Always a pleasure. mostly to sell. Yeah, it indeed was a pleasure. I finally have some room in my inventory. I have all this beer. It's, it's just nice. Some painkillers and some energy bars as well. Ten of them, actually. Okay. That was... Nice. And I love this music. Holy crap. I, for one, approve of these protests. These limb people are drug pushers. Someone is getting rich while the rest of us are suffering. I wouldn't know about those things. All I know is that this violence doesn't serve anyone. Well, I guess the question now becomes, will the pro-human groups retaliate when Bill Taggart gets here? He's that humanity front guy, right? He's speaking at the convention center in a few days. Ugh, that's gonna be a day from hell. Hmm. Guess I'll need to go check it out when, when Taggart is in town. do we have here at Limp? Ah, Mr. Jensen. David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrode seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Serif did ask me to discuss another topic with you. 
You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name, thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Okay, so that was... Okay, we got one Praxis as well. So that was kind of explaining to Praxis Praxis points how we use them to activate the augmentations and also the experience points with the Yeah, I, I like that it was of course a bit artificial, but uh, I like it Typhoon ammo Hy Hypo steam Increasing ah. Increasing energy points or oh, health. Char. Free energy cells. So I guess if I upgrade to more energy, that will come. Dr. T the X -ray. Oh, I can buy Praxis kits. Okay. Well, I can't think of anything better to use the credits, so uh, Dr. Chetri, call I guess I'll just buy two. Dr. Chetri, call wow. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. I will. Wow. Oh, nice. Building wings already. Do you have something to say? Were you around for that protest earlier? I wasn't sure I'd be able to get in here, and I'm overdue for my neuropazine. You augmented? Oh, you are. Nice legs. Dr. Tepkowski to OR. Dr. Tepkowski to OR. at my my glasses maybe who is it that was weird did you hear about the protest if we listened to them we'd be living in the dark ages yeah i guess i guess i can go in here anesthesia before is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing uh, more or less I know it sounds a little hair-raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Will I feel any pain or anything? It gets done through your IV needle. You'll be asked to count backwards, and the next thing you know, you'll be opening your eyes and the procedure will be over. Wow. Will I dream? Not while you're under, but you might afterward as you wake up. Sir, don't mind me just checking if there's anything giving me experience in here. And I guess it's completely okay for Adam to go into this surgery rooms. And re 
delete their emails. So WHO is still still on twenty twenty seven. Hmm. Adam Jensen adopted H fives, no paper. No papers. Adam has demonstrated healing ability greater than two standard deviations above the mean in following. Speed of recovery, position of faculties, post-traumatic memory tension. Unique autoimmune disorder. Full replacement of chest cavity, left arm, right arm, legs. What's left in Adam? After the surgery. His mind. His head. Protesting is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those guys were carrying tire irons and setting garbage cans on fire. And those were the ones we arrested. The rest were merely exercising their right to free speech. What about my right to come to work each day without fearing for my life? I've still got to walk home tonight. I understand your concern. But if you want round-the-clock protection, I suggest you hire a private security company. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Okay. Go on in. We're still open. Just came out. Dr. Chetri, call 217. Dr. Chetri, call 217. I checked the place already. I think it's clear. Can you talk now? If you saw what happened and want to make a report, drop by the precinct. Well, in fact, I am going that way. Not just yet. Not just yet. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, Consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. Yeah, I guess. But I think These I'll... These rides are being organized by the government. They want an excuse to exact cross of law and strip this country up. Hey, down, pal. People are on the edge right now, and we don't want any more trouble. What will you say when you're kidnapped by a bunch of augmented soldiers and put in a concentration camp? I haven't put much thought into it, okay? Haven't you heard of RDX-84? FEMA is setting up camps right here in Detroit. Yeah, and Stevie Y is actually a 600-year-old vampire. <laughs> this is just the first step in the plane. 
and I guess it is. Coming soon, so I guess that that is coming later, not just yet. I read the news already. I learned about the Mexican town incident. One day they will use our fears to control us all. Yeah, I guess they will. I guess I will let you sleep there. Hey, I can get in here. I wonder if I get into any trouble. Let's see what we have here first. Is this about the protests? Is there a problem, sir? No, just... It's night for a walk. But you might want to stay on a derelict road, knowing how the local gang feels about people with enhancements. Yeah, thanks for the tip. At least it didn't get violent. Not like Milwaukee Junction. At least it wasn't in the middle of the day. Just walk up to anyone and start yapping. Shove okay. off, mister. You didn't have me to be rude, you know. Who do you think you are? Just having a friendly chat. You can't walk a block in this city without some loser asking for a handout. You know what I should do? Well, I'm not gonna. With the police here and all. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have here. Oh, when I have all those praxis points, I can actually increase my hacking even further if I want. Beer that was more than worth to hack into that place. Okay, can I can I get into these places? No. Guess I'm done talking to the civilians with one of those guys being so rude. Who's asking for money? Can I go? Can I go up that ladder? Wait a minute, this isn't the... This isn't the billboard I got the one message for. But, uh... That's one. Top of the billboard. 8982. There's only one way to find out. See no one in here. The question is will I increase my hacking to four or not? Let's see about the augmentations. I have three praxis. One thing I definitely want is moving and throwing heavy objects or carrying capacity okay this 
extra hacking stuff. Detect the chances. So I guess I could upgrade to three and four. I think I, I want to get into these places, so let's get four. And I'll save the one for later and see what I want to use it for. So we actually have a code for this. But I won't use it, but hack instead. will be detected for sure. will happen. Okay, let's let's save. If this is just locked for a temporary time, then it's okay. But if it screams out an alarm or something, then it will be more difficult. Plus four, what the hell? Fuck. Okay, so there is a system lockdown, but... Uh, least no one was alerted there so I think I will just wait then for that to finish. Okay. Two fresh attempts. I will be detected for sure if I do that. Increases the level of this like by a million. So maybe I'll need to avoid that and take that one first. Access denied. use like some nuke for it or stop worm can it be done without it hmm. I wonder well at least I can try it several times without too much worry just have to wait It actually gets quite a 
but easier if I'm not not detected on that first one. Using stop worms as that seems to be the only way. <laughs> Lead skills. Yes, two two stop worms for it for it. I'm not sure if it was worth it. Um, well the question is: Is this a hostile place or not? Just some apartment. There's nothing. So should I just go through this? Jump through this window or something. Got an explorer bonus. Ah. And some damage from dropping. Ah, okay. Oh. Ooh. Sniper rifle. Someone wants to turn those turn those protests into a bloodbath. Wow. Oh my, this takes some space. Sword, extreme range sniper rifle, high damage, extreme range, lethal weapon. Ideal for headshots from afar. Well, there is a weapon. I guess that is my way out. Hopefully they won't be too angry with me. Ah. Okay, top of the weapon store. Yep. All clear up there. No worries about anything, Grayson. I guess that was a kind of secret or hidden area or something. With those hacking skills or that gold I found. Ah, it was a. Uh Wait a moment. Apartment building near gas station was. Yeah, and there it shows me the blue dots. Uh, 
How dumb I am I? Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. Those odd lovers get in my face now, I'm ready to pop. Grayson? Where he at these days? Yo, where you been, man? He been running shit through that abandoned gas station for weeks. Yeah, right there. I wanted to get some upgrades from my Zenith 10 mil. He can hook you up nice, man. If you go, tell him I sent you. I want a discount next time. Word. Not sure sure if I'm uh, if I want to talk to them. Talk to those punks if they don't like augmented people. But here we get the chance to talk to I guess Detective Chase about the investigation related related to first attack and uh, Megan's death. And uh with that, I'll continue on the next episode of Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution, and I hope to see you there. So uh, until then, take care, and bye bye.